Great to meet you um, too. So are you always amazed at the international success of those movies? And is that something that you have in mind while working on it? Yeah, it really is. When we are making an animated movie, we think about the global audience. And one of the important ways that we do that, because we really want to make the movie for everyone in the world, is we have in our crew people representing 29 different countries on this movie, which is so amazing because we get different perspectives and different sensibilities that come together, which is very much like the story of our movie with, with people from different cultures working together. And, and it's a lot of fun, but I think it also leads to a movie that, that has appeal and accessibility for, for a broader audience. I think also our movie is very uh, visual, it's storyboard driven, so we take the scripts, um, we strip it down, take out a lot of the just talking, um, and focus on making the acting really funny and the moments really funny visually, so I think that translates really well around the world. Um, sure, yeah, uh, for uh, for Red, I think where we left him on the first movie, he had some issues and he had some baggage um, that he needed to deal with. And he's come a long way in this movie, but he's still got a ways to go. And I think it gave us a lot to play with comedically, but I think it's also really relatable. I think everyone's got some issues to deal with. Um, and I think uh, in this movie, he has to look outside of himself and look at the people around him and see um, with all of these people, or not people, birds and pigs in this case, but um, with, with all these characters around him, some of them he has a terrible relationship with in the past and he needs to get over. Some of them are his friends, some of them are his friend's sister, and he's got a lot of trust issues he has to deal with in order to uh, uh, fulfill the greater good um, of, for all of them, um, which I think is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool message. Mm -hmm. John, do you want to take this? You know, I, I, my favorite message in the movie is one of teamwork, because I think no matter what you do or, or or what part of the world you live in, I think that collaborating with others and finding a common ground as you do it is a very important thing, and I think it's a great message for everyone in the world today. To, to find that common ground and, and, to, and to, to partner. Do you want to add anything? Mm -hmm. um, Favorite theme? Yeah, I, I, uh, I think that pretty much, pretty much covers it. I, that's the main theme of the movie, is um, coming together for the greater good. Um, it's been amazing. I, I think um, to make Danny McBride laugh and Leslie Jones laugh is like highlights of my life. Um, <laughs> um, but I think like Rachel Bloom is amazing. And, and we worked so hard, especially on the new characters, to develop these characters on paper, but they become so much richer characters and so much funnier um, once we bring these actors in. I think Rachel Bloom added so much to Silver of making her such a real three-dimensional character who's really funny but has flaws. Um, yeah, uh, I think the whole cast I didn't get to work with on the first movie and didn't get to see um, how amazing they are, um, how amazing they are in the room. I think Josh Gad is um, hilarious um, improviser, um, Jason Sudeikis, amazing improviser, so smart and so funny. Um, and uh, Aquafina is amazing, so super funny all of the time. Some of the um, actors we haven't announced yet, so I'm excited to announce some of those, but we had some really good ones. And I think Well, we also have we have we have people like Nicki Minaj doing doing a voice in the movie, and and so it's it's really fun to to have people who have different uh, different backgrounds and, and and certainly different talents. 
Although even uh, Nicki Minaj has acting background, so all of the actors in our movie, even if they don't have a lot of um, experience in movies and TV shows, they were all really good actors. Mm. Okay. Is it a, a new five minutes, or yeah. so we should answer similar questions again? Or uh, I think we're just gonna ask different stuff. Okay. Cool. Not super fast, so cool. You, you feel free to repeat if you want. Okay. okay. Sounds good. <laughs> so, what do you think are some of the challenges uh, working with the cast and you know also on your own before um, on those movies? Mm -hmm. You know, one of the challenges, I'd say, of, of working with the cast on the movie is that they're never in the same place at the same time. And so we have to have the movie and the scenes in our heads and imagine how, how Leslie Jones said something versus how Jason Sudeikis said something versus how Aquafina said something and think about how they're going to come together in those scenes, sometimes before we've recorded the other actors in the scenes. And so that ends up becoming one of the magical things about an animated movie is that when it's animated, you would never guess that they weren't in the same room doing those scenes together. And that's also thanks to how, how, how great Thurup and the team are. Um, it, it was fun though. It was fun to have to think fast and if like Jason Sudeikis throws out a whole new idea, quickly thinking through while you're still talking to Sudeikis, how's that gonna affect every other scene and uh, thinking on your feet and okay, um, so if we do that here, then we're gonna have to do this in this scene and try to get all that from them and then remember that for every other actor down the line, it has a huge um, fallout down the line, but it's what makes made it, our movie so good because we were able to roll with those really funny new ideas from the actors and from the board artists and from the animators that just kept getting better and better. Um, it, uh, and I think that that's, that was a challenge to uh, allow everyone so much freedom, but it was also, I think, what made our movie so good. And for you, what's the appeal on working on stuff like that? You know, you've worked, how does it compare to like Powerpuff Ladies or, I mean, for me, it was Miss Felmana in French, but like, you know, or all these other stuff that you've worked on, like how, and how also does new technology change or kind of the game? Um, Working in TV, you have to work so fast all the time, so that's definitely something that I brought to this movie, trying out a bunch of ideas really fast, because in TV, you're going to air in a week or whatever, um, and so you just have to get it all done. And so um, a lot of the storyboard artists that we worked with um, also came from TV, so they're used to solving problems really quickly. Um, so it's not just throwing out wild ideas, it's throwing out ideas that go with... Um, the rest of the story, and they were they were really good at it. Um, but it was so cool to be able to take this movie so much further than you can ever take a TV show because we had um, two and a half years to make one really tight, beautiful, hilarious story, and you could just keep going over it and honing it and honing it and making it better and better. And there were some areas that were fine um, in the movie, but we wanted them to be better than fine, so we just kept trying new stuff to make them funnier and funnier, and I think it really shows. And do you get geeky about the new technologies and the, you know, the things that, that they're moving with? And, and how do you cope? In terms of like motion capture yeah, and stuff like that? Yeah, there, it's fascinating technology. We didn't use anything like motion capture on our movie, but to see movies that do it, it's I, I you know there's there's nothing like watching some of those very cool reels with the, the the way the motion capture is done. I think that for us, we animated the movie traditionally with with animators uh, bringing all of the characters to life, and I think even in motion capture, it ultimately comes down to the animators that that really add that extra life even to the to what what's done by a motion capture actor. Yeah, well, what was so amazing about our animators is they're not just trying to make something look realistic, they're making it um, appealing, they're bringing themselves into it, they're making the characters really funny and really expressive, and that's something that I don't think you can do with motion capture, at least not yet. No, and our animators are such great actors and such great comedians, too, so it's you see that in the performances. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm, I'm not nervous at all because I know this movie is super good. Um, uh, and it's really exciting to be at Cannes. I've, 
I've never premiered a movie before, um, and I've never been to Cannes before, and to be um, at a place like this that's so important to film and animation and be able to release um, new animated uh, scenes is so cool. It's super exciting. You've done all this before. I, I've done it once before, <laughs> and it's still such a thrill. You, you, you walk around and you pinch yourself that you are here at the Cannes Film Festival, a place that you dream of getting to go your entire life, and so it's, we're, we're really honored to be here.